You're saying this is a couple years ago and yeah. he looks happy and healthy. Oh, we have pictures from him in December looking perfectly fine. He was fine in, in Christmas. Are you angry at the hospital? Um, yes. Yes, I am. This truly is a heartbreaking story that everyone needs to see. So please watch it through to the end, then head over to changethecruelrule.com to sign and share the petition to ensure that it never happens again. My father was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer on the 6th of January um, earlier this year. And on, it was either March the 6th or 7th, he was put into palliative care. Palliative care is where terminally ill patients are transferred for end-of-life care. And if you look on the Olivia Newton-John Centre website, they claim to work with you to meet your emotional, spiritual and practical needs in a holistic way, promising this support extends to the family too. Out of my family, there's 10 of us overall, and seven of them are vaccinated. So the vaccinated um, part of our family they were allowed to go see dad. We called up to ask, um, you know, what's, what does it take for an uh, unvaccinated person to get in? And at first off, they refused us. So you understand, the current guidelines from the government state on their website right now. It says hospital visitors must have at least two doses of the vaccine or show evidence of a negative rat test that is taken on the day of the visit. The brothers should have never been banned, but for some reason, the Olivia Newton-John Palliative Care Centre in the Austin Hospital has its own callous and irrational rule. Patients who are receiving end-of-life terminal care, they would have to apply for an exemption. That's exactly what they did. After fighting to be able to see their dying father, the brothers received an exemption to visit him once, separately, in full PPE, for maximum an hour after producing the negative rat test at the hospital. Obviously, when your father is um, very close to passing, you know, he wants to see you and um, we want to see him. And for them to uh, for, at first refuse us, and then when, once they gave us an exemption for only one hour and a one-off visit for the entirety of his stay, that's an unbelievable cruelty to us and dad. Following their visit, the brothers then called the hospital to see if there was any chance that they could revisit their father before he dies within the expected month. We came in and we had an exemption to see yeah. my father. Now, the exemption, is it just once or can we come in again? It's a one-off for his whole admission. And that was explained to your mother when I got um, those exemptions granted. Can you explain why that is? It's a hospital policy with the COVID situation. To be honest, Dad, when I saw him, he was like, "I can't believe they let you in." Like that's the that's his that was his mindset. Like as in, they were so they've been so cruel to unvaccinated people. Just it, it even it's so telling when he said that. It's like I can't believe they even let you see me. Um, you know, when I was was dying for one hour. So, you know that um obviously that was really heartbreaking. I just don't understand because we take a, a negative um, rat yeah. test. Limiting the risk to both patients and staff. So, so even if we we have a negative rat test, we're still a risk. Yeah, they only allow that one off. But you, are we still a risk even if we have a negative rat test? It's it's what the it's limiting risk, and that's what um, the policy is of the hospital. I have actually taken it to the executive, and I even spoke to the executive today because your mum said it's unfair, and executive has said no. It's what the policy is, and um, it was explained to your mother that it is a one-off exception for the one hour, and that's all we can do. They didn't explain the science behind it. Um, pretty much the way it goes, you get a nurse, and she just speaks for um, the hospital, and they'll just say, you know, this isn't what I believe. These are just the rules that I've been given. Well, I did put the questions directly to the hospital, including why they stop unvaccinated family members from visiting dying relatives when the government's guidelines specifically permits it with a negative rat test. And I asked them what the science is behind allowing vaccinated people to visit while banning the unvaccinated when vaccinated people 
can carry and spread the virus too. We would have done any tests they required. This is not an issue. Like we would have taken multiple rat tests in a row because if you take about three, the percentage jumps up to really high percent accuracy. So you're happy to do you that? Do anything. PCR you do tests. Anything, yeah. So your problem is not doing this. Are you the same? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to do whatever they, they want to give me. I mean, my dad's dying, so like obviously I would be. And that's understandable, but I'm just, I just can't work it out then. If you guys were willing to do three in a row, which they say is over 95% accuracy, um, then how can they stop somebody because they're unvaccinated? What is the science behind it? I will pose the question to them, but I'm just, I, I can't for the life of me figure out the science behind that. Look, if you get the answer, you let us know because we... We're having a hard time trying to figure that out as well. It's been more than two days and the hospital has yet to explain the science that allows vaccinated people to enter as many times as they wish without even a single test, yet bans unvaccinated loved ones from entering no matter how many tests they're willing to take. It seems what you said, your mum called it illogical. It seems unscientific. If you're willing to let the other seven members of the family in as many times as they want without any tests, so they could likely be carrying the virus in. You're happy to let them in and out without a test, but you're going to ban the unvaccinated who are willing to do three rat tests, who are willing to do a PCR test, who are willing to do whatever test you want to make sure that they're coming in clean, but you're going to stop them mm. only because they're unvaccinated. There's absolutely no science to explain the hospital's policy, and it's clearly designed to punish the unvaccinated in the most inhumane way possible. I don't know how people can, um, can be so cruel to uh, others and, um, and just be so heartless. So, uh, look, it's, it's, um, it's, it's tough to understand. It sure is. Sadly, their father passed away last weekend, and while the hospital hasn't responded, I shared their story with... Olivia Nugent-John's daughter, Chloe, who, even though her mother has nothing to do with the draconian rule being implemented in the hospital, she sent back this powerful message to the brothers. Hello, Marco and Ivan. Um, my name's Chloe. I heard your story and my heart absolutely broke um, for you, your family and your father that you missed out on your last precious moments with him and that he missed out on those last precious moments with you. Um, such a hard time in the world right now and the most important thing is love and family. So my heart really, really broke for you um, that you missed that. So I wanted you to know that you were thought of and that your story matters and that your family matters. And um, I really hope that um, these policies are changed. They, they don't make sense. Um, and I hope no other family has to go through what you went through. Um, sending so much love and light your way. Beautifully put. Good honor. I hope she inspires the hospital to also apologize. And more importantly, at least from the family's perspective, encourages them to change the cruel rule. What mum would like even more than an apology was what I previously stated was for them to change the rules so people in the future don't have to experience what we did. If this story hits you in the way it did for me, make sure to head over to changethecruelrule.com to sign and share the petition in our best attempt to stop this from happening to any other family. It's the least we can do. Changethecruelrule.com now.